welcome back in this step we would start looking at what's happening behind the screens with lambda expressions what is happening when i type a method like this element hyphen or a lambda expression with element mapping to element dot ends with at what is happening behind the screens how is it really working all the magic of this is based on something called a functional interface okay i know we love practicals so let's do that so let's create a new class and i'll call this lambda behind the screens runner and give it a main method and let's type in a very simple piece of code right so i would want to just get a list of a few values let's say 23 40, 30, 43 34 and 45 and out of this list let's import list in java.util what i want to do is filter out odd numbers so filter and say the logic right number only get me those numbers which are odd and even within those oops before the filter i need to convert it into a stream how can i forget that so stream dot filter and now let's format it a little bit so we have a list we are doing a filter and out of for each let's say i would want to print them e i would want to say system dot out dot print ln e cool right so i can format it to make sure it's clear so for the stream we are filtering it and we are printing each element to the console what would happen when i do this you know it's printing 34 so we are printing only even number in here right so let's add in a few more even numbers 36 48 so that we have a little bit more output to play with now 34 36 and 48 that's cool right so we have a list we are filtering it and we are doing a forage now what is happening behind the screens how does this code get sent out to this filter method if i look at the signature of the filter method if you hover over it you can see that it's taking a predicate so what it's saying is you're using a stream of integer and the filter accepts a predicate a class of type predicate that's what it's telling me right so let's go to this one so i just need to press control or command and press this control or command and press this and you would go to that method and this is the signature of that specific method right so what is it saying the signature of this filter method is filter and it accepts something called a predicate what is this predicate if you again do a control and or command and hover over it let's go there so if i go to the predicate it says it's a functional interface now the functional interface which is present in here is something called test now let's copy this test over here so what we have in here we have predicate is a interface and the predicate interface has a method called test and if you look at the predicate interface that is the only method which will not have a implementation as the only method without a default implementation inside the predicate so now how does this get mapped to a implementation of the predicate interface right so if i have a method which is accepting an interface then i can only send implementations of that interface objects of the implementation of that interface as parameters to it so how is it happening now let's do one more thing right so n is equal to n maps to n mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 what i'll do now is i'll create a implementation of the predicate interface let's say because i would want to use integers right so here there's a list of integers so we would need to create a predicate of integer right we would want to create an implementation of that so let's create that right now so i'll go here 
let's go out here so class i'll call this even number predicate right we want to find out the even numbers and i'll say it implements what does it implement predicate of integer and let's do a control one and unimplemented methods oops you can see that there is a test method that's exactly the method that we saw earlier boolean test t so instead of t we are using integer so this becomes integer and r0 let's call it number now over here what i can do is i can implement the test method what i would want to do with the test when is it an even number so i would say return number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 if number mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 return true because this is an even number otherwise return false right so now i would take this even number predicate and let's create the same piece of code again uh, new oops i need to create an even number predicate right so new even number predicate let's run these pieces of code again you can see that the same output is being printed by both these lines of code that is exactly what is happening when you are passing some logic when you are passing some logic to the filter method what is happening is in the background the java compiler creates a implementation of the functional interface the most important thing about a functional interface like the predicate is that there would only be one method which will not have a definition and basically what we are doing when we are creating a lambda expression is providing an implementation for that specific method so what we are doing in here is we are saying take the only method which is not implemented and provide this as the implementation for it so what would happen is uh, implementation of the test method would be created with the logic that you are passing in in here that is what is happening in the background when i just say filter and pass in a method to it this specific interface is called a predicate because what it does is it evaluates and returns whether it's true or false so the predicate interface returns if the test has passed or not now i would leave it as an exercise for you to do the same thing with the for each interface so take the for each see what's happening behind the screens and try and create an implementation of it in here so try and create exactly what's happening in the behind the screens for for each in here and i'll see you in the next step until then bye bye this video is part of a java course with more than 250 steps helping you become an expert on java you can find the complete course details in the description of the video along with it you can also find the details of a free pdf with 200 pages of awesome code examples in 28 minutes, creating great programmers.